Well, Those are some of our childhood <laughs> scenes when yes. we first went shopping. Very uh, first time, yes. back in the 1800s. Hi, it's everybody. A lot of fun. Hi, Larry Bly here. Laban Johnson. And we're both here. Yeah, we're glad to have you with us in our dining room kitchenette. <laughs> or whatever. It's getting cheesier by the moment. It is, it is, it is. All kind of oh, stuff. Yes, terrible, indeed. terrible. What's, uh, oh, we've got letters. Oh, we, we're, we're just getting an avalanche, a veritable avalanche of mail these days. Dear sirs, my husband was watching TV the other day and and saw you all making the candy, said it looked delicious. That's probably one of our biggest uh, all-time requested recipe, right. that candy that we did at the beginning of last season yeah. or whenever it was. Will you please send me, and very appropriately yeah. gave the, the correct number so we could have some. And I hope I didn't have to send you anything. If so, let me know. No, the recipes are free. You just need to send us uh, uh, self addressed stamped envelope. That's right. And That's if you don't do that, you don't get anything from some, from Chester, Virginia. Where That's is that? That's just real important. Chester. Yeah. I, it's I, right I, next to Festus. <laughs> <laughs> I think I went limping through there one time. Uh, anyway. Yeah, right across got? the line from Matt uh, Dillon, North Carolina. Uh, right. All right. Uh, in Georgia, candy making, so I'm sending for the receipt. I love to cook, and a, a little nonsense while doing it makes it more fun. Hope the girls have fun on their cruise or when er, or wherever they are. <laughs> and that's from Mrs. Davis, a friendly viewer. Thank you, Mrs. Oh, Davis. Oh, here's one from New Orleans. Uh -huh. New Orleans, down in New Orleans. Says, count me in as a fan. <laughs> She's gone all out here on the um, stationery. You all are wonderful. Looking forward to the recipe recipe whatever we're going to send whatever it is and we're looking forward to figuring out what it was that this lady wrote but anyway thank you very much this one is from that. chuck smith in kingsport tennessee chuck says dear larry and clavin <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yes, Cleveland. That sounds like one of those uh, you have words. Yeah, a Cleveland Right. <laughs> Me and my wife watch your show every Saturday, and we both enjoy it very much. How about chopping everything up ahead of time? Then you can just throw it in the pot and cook it. This way, both of you could prepare two or three dishes apiece. Uh, oh, yeah, sure. <laughs> I'm looking forward to that. Yeah. <laughs> well, thanks, Chuck, but... Uh, no thanks. No, well, we, we could do that. But, you know, a lot of people don't know how to operate a knife, and we look on it as a public service in showing people how bad we are, you know, because we don't do that trick photography that you see on some of the high price shows, you know, oh, where they go, no, 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 no. Uh uh, we just do it regularly. We do it the good old fashioned way. Yeah, we, we like to stumble our, through it. We like our fingertips. Stella Perry wrote us one, says, please put another one in my grandmother. <laughs> oh, no, it says, please put another one in my envelope, my grandmother. She just kind of yeah, stuck uh -huh. in there, was watching with me and said, she said, Grandma, get me one too. Oh, my granddaughter said, oh. <laughs> she said, Grandmother, get me one, too. I'll, I can hear I'll, it now. I'll rehearse this one. Dear Labor Larry, my oh. husband and I have only watched your show twice, and you two are the greatest, oh. funny man we ever seen, cooking like you two do. We like to have you recipes. <laughs> well, I try to get Channel 56 in good, but I have do have a lot of trouble sometimes. <laughs> Keep up the good cooking. You two are very cute. And that's from Geraldine Getz in Baltimore, Maryland. Thank you, Geraldine. <laughs> Geraldine. <laughs> and and Geraldine, we got a little advice for you. Turn your antenna just a little to your left. <laughs> okay. That's right. And maybe you'll get channel whatever you want. No, no, a lot no. I always really hope so. And finally, uh, <laughs> please send me the recipe for 608. I like this format better than last year's. The rocking chair scenes were unnecessary. <laughs> <laughs> well, I guess that means the Cook Sisters. Norris O'Grady, I believe it is. Uh, yeah. Norris O'Grady? Well, sorry, the oh, Cook Sisters, as a lot of you know, I'm so, if you just watched our show for the first time, they are our aunts, and last year they were on a world tour, and earlier this year they were involved in a wrestling accident with simultaneous broken hips. So yeah. they are in a home now, and we hope to be talking with them in a But few we're weeks. threatening to bring yeah. them back most any time, <laughs> depending on where the management behaves itself. But anyway. This show today is called the Filler Up Show. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Why do we call it that? Or is it going to give us a lot of gas? Well, uh, it is uh, baked beans and uh, oh, uh, sauerkraut. I so uh, see. it could be one of the th these recipes you might not want to serve before guests come. Are we ready? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> All right. Well, mine only has to cook on top of the stove for 10 or 15 minutes. 
I'm going to just start out. Did you notice that I have tried to take advantage of, the, you know, around my house some oh. things literally going to seed, and these were among them. I was going to make a fine plant out of these, but they're just starting to droop Well, a little. you could chop those tops and, and have them as a decor for your dish. Chop those tops and serve them chop as lots. Chop those tops. Okay, I'm just going to chop a couple of them up and... and when I get that Woo. done, I, oh, I better start heating a little margarine here. Is the stove on this week? Them. Did yes, they pay is. the electric bill? Yep. The uh, eyeball over here is lit up. So anyway, how much uh, two tablespoons of margarine? I'm going to heat up two tablespoons of margarine, and I'm going to start chopping some onions. It's not necessary. Pretty exciting, huh? Not necessary that, uh, that you stay on me necessarily for the chopping of the onions because... Once you've seen it done 40 times, you've seen it done 40 times. Right. So. Well, I, oh, <laughs> got caught. I'm draining out two cans of sauerkraut down in here on this paper in this trash can because if we put this down the sink, it's going to smell real bad for a long time. With that, I have what, gotten hold of a bad This onion. sauerkraut is just full of water. Look at it, just pouring out of here. You got a bad onion. I got oh. a bad onion. Well, how anyway, many do I'm I need? Trying to, I only need this one sauerkraut anyway. needs to be drained. So I, I'm using it. This really needs to be a pound can of sauerkraut, but I had to get two 10 ounce cans of this stuff. And this is chopped sauerkraut, and it won't even come out of the can. I'm going to make a sauerkraut salad. Sure smells good, Laban. Mm. Oh, I know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what sauerkraut is, Larry? Did you make that when you were a little child on the farm? Well, I never personally made it, but there was an old German lady that lived beside us, and she made it literally. She had that great big thing that you uh -huh. slice it up with, you remember? It was a big old board oh, yeah. with, a, uh, with a knife. Uh, diagonally, and it would diagonally cut it as you took right. the head of cabbage and right. went across it. And once you did that, then I guess what you have to do with it? I salt it down in a crock and let it set all covered up in the dark for a while, and it would turn into sauerkraut. That's what it is. People have gotten so ignorant that they don't even know what a, a crock is anymore. I know. You know, maybe it's, we need uh, to have Roy Underhill up here from the wood ride shop to show us. <laughs> To show us how to make one of those wooden things. Well, now how long like did plane. they? How long did they have to keep it on a crock? A whole winter or what? No, no, no. It, it was. It did its thing in just a few weeks. Just until it uh, got real. Yeah. What? What? what juicy. Juicy. And fragrant. <laughs> <laughs> Not rotten. I don't think that's so the I, word. So I've got a can of chopped sauerkraut, and now I'm going to chop up. Uh, some things in here, and I'm real sorry, Chuck, that wrote in and said, you know, have all this stuff ready. We well, just if we did that, we'd end up standing around looking at the camera for 15 I minutes. I know, and that's what's wrong with some of those other shows. They just grab up stuff so fast and throw it in, and it's all pre-measured. And see, we, we don't have a staff. We're so cheap we can't afford a staff to do all of this stuff in advance, you know, like Jeff Smith or, or Julia or some of those other high price shows. So what you see is what you get around here. Now, I'm going to put a... What is that? They're talking to us. Signifying again. to us. I don't know. This recipe I think gets it said a, your lights are on on your car. Gets, <laughs> gets a cup of chopped celery, a cup of chopped onions or sliced, and sliced celery goes in with the sauerkraut. Blocking so. a truck? <laughs> I'll do anything to get him off the show. Anyway. Oh, he is so nice. <clears throat> this is... These, I got an onion that doesn't look like it favored anybody too much, but it's okay. Boy, I'm telling you. Well, just... I'm sauteing some onions over here right now, and we're just going to get them real waxy looking. Once they get real waxy looking, don't want to burn them. Is that the same as transparent? Well, yeah, I think it is. Now, while that's doing that, then you got to take all your other doodah and, and mix it up, pre mix it. And I'm going to start getting that stuff together here in a couple of minutes. Do you have the opener? Yes, I do. May I? I... My open to opener? your no. You can keep it. You can just oh. open till your for your heart's content. Oh well, thank you. Well, I just wanted to open a can or two. I didn't really want to spend the rest of my career. Open doing up it. a new can of worms, I guess. <laughs> we say such enticing things on oh. this program for a cooking right. show. No wonder people get incidentally. For those of you that care, both of you. Uh, <laughs> I got news for you. One of them don't care. We can't afford a food processor, so I have one of these little French slicers that you can get. And these things are dirt cheap compared to a food processor. And all you need to do is just slide the vegetable across it, and it slices just real nice. 
it's not quite as uh, convenient as a food processor and you do have to be careful or you could lose the tippy ends of your fingers which you may need for other purposes but as I said I'm going to need whew, onion tried to get away from me if you'll notice I've left the root end on the onion here so that I have uh, a little handle to grip by. That looked like a little, well I better not say it. They get so nervous around here if we make uh, <laughs> illusions. Oh look, the, the floor crew is going to sleep. All right. All right. <laughs> well it's time to snap it up here. Johnson's getting a little dull. <laughs> is that it? Is that all yeah, you got? That's all I've got. Oh okay. I'm going right to mix now. some stuff up here. I need to pre-mix some stuff so I get all this stuff on here. Now while your, your onions are cooking away on the stove, you need to get yourself a little bowl and mix up a little mess. I beg your pardon. And that's what we're going to do right now. We start out with a tablespoon of flour. Flour is the white stuff. All right. A tablespoon of flour. What you doing back there, Johnson? I'm just making a washing off amount some of celery. Noise. Tablespoon. Did you say How you started you with a bowl? Yeah. Child, you can get in trouble around talking about that drug. And home. a half a cup of tomato sauce or catsup. We'll just take that and pour it in there. That ought to be just about it. Moving right along, ignoring Johnson's stupid remarks. <laughs> uh, half a cup of canned beef bouillon, undiluted. Candied bouillon? Link. That's pretty undiluted, all right. <laughs> <laughs> this stuff gets out and goes down the hall. We're all in trouble. All right, let's see. A tablespoon of vinegar. A tablespoon of vinegar. All right. This is an interesting concoction. By the way, this was sent in by Ruth Woodward uh, <laughs> of Richmond, Virginia. What's the matter? You can't take the, uh, uh, the pressure? You afraid somebody will think it's your own recipe? Teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. I tell you what, if this comes out good, it's mine. <laughs> if it's lousy, it belongs to good old Ruth. All right. See how we are down here? But we always do, rec we, we love to hear from you and, and your recipes. Uh, half a teaspoon of sugar, sug. All kinds of weird stuff in here. It's the first time I've made this, so I'm having to read right carefully. Oh, that's black pepper. Uh, you mean you didn't try this one out? Half teaspoon of chili pepper. Oh, no, no, no. This takes half the fun away from it. That's <laughs> close enough. A uh, little bit of salt. About a half teaspoon of salt. And uh, now. It says quickly add to onions. Boy, doesn't that look good. Mm, 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 mm. Staff is standing in line for this one. Yep. All right, we're going to add that to the onions. Woo! All right. It's just lovely, 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 lovely. Make sure we get it all in there. We don't want to miss out on any of this. All right. Get rid of that just for a second. Now, we need to, it says, uh, stir until bubbly. Well, it's bubbly. It got bubbly right quickly. Quickly bubbly. Uh, and then it says add beans and their liquid. You just saw it. And the Franks. Now I got some uh, leftover Valley Dales that I oh, had in my fridge. Now I know you're saying, well, if they're leftover, then why are you opening <laughs> them up? Well, I have one of these fancy resealers at my house, a half a pound of Franks. <laughs> <laughs> Cut into one. Lies like a snake. <laughs> well, this is television. Now, it's very important, it says in this recipe, that you cut the wieners diagonally. <laughs> now, if you don't do that, you're in big trouble. That's a diagonal weaning cut. You've probably heard about it. Now you've seen it. <laughs> the famous diagonal weenie cut. There it is. You know, the terrible thing is I'm having to do that with this celery right now. Excuse me. <laughs> Knock it over. I'm just slicing my ribs of celery. Okay. Oh, how, how horrible. The weenie pieces are flying everywhere. They're trying <laughs> to get away. 
the great flying We're put those in now. Now you got to cut them down a little bit and simmer them for 15 minutes covered. Now let it stop <laughs> boiling. Now that's Where's a, your cover? Uh, I think I've blown my cover. Where is it? <laughs> I had it earlier. I don't think, oh, there it is. <laughs> that's not quite the one, but that'll do. Simmer that for, for 15 minutes. <laughs> I swear I'm knocking everything over. For 15 minutes on simmer. And, uh, and that's it. That's mm -hmm. the whole dish. And that's called Ruth Woodward's Beans and Franks. <laughs> that's not what it's called. Barbecue Beans and Franks El Cheapo is the name of it. Now back to Laban while well, we're simmering. All right, well, I'm still slicing celery over here. Oh, that's on exciting, this Laban. Little uh, thing. And of course, if you're not careful, you'll cut your hand. And the strings are, are real bad, so. <laughs> oh, please. <laughs> Frightening. And that's all right. Now I've got a cup of chopped celery in here with the, the uh, sliced onions. Or, and I've got to slice this green pepper. Now, if you will check this pepper out, you will see that it has, that for whatever reason, what it is, is a little corrupt. Well, it's just kind of stuff on it from uh, the fields. And so we're going to wash it off. And if you'll just watch a second over here, we'll just get some water on it. This is a good idea with vegetables like this because the, the stores very often have to put wax on them anyway so that they'll stay nice and fresh. And it's harmless, edible wax, but I'm using this little, just a little uh, scrub brush here uh, to scrub off the, the pepper with, and that gets everything off of it. And this is a real nice thing to have, this little scrub brush. Oh, what, uh, a pepper? No, the little scrub oh, brush is, scrub is great brush. to have for your vegetables. Ah. Now, let's <clears throat> cut the top off of this uh, baby and pull the core out of it. We don't have to be too fancy about this. And we need a, a cup take your time, take of your time. sliced green pepper. Thank you so much for giving me a little extra time Subtle here, here on the show today. <laughs> I, I really appreciate your concern and care <laughs> and all that other stuff. Ah, one time baby. Just because you've got some place to go in a hurry today. <laughs> Take your time. Well, I thought I would. <laughs> <laughs> I'm cleaning up while you're doing this because oh, I'm well, bored. Oh, well, that's the way it goes. <laughs> it, now, time for a little just, water. Yeah, I think I'd like to have a little of that water. Hang on a second, I have to get this glass. Okay. Now this stuff is a little harder to slice on this baby. <laughs> what are you laughing at? I can't get the tap water oh, open. <laughs> you can't get the tap to open up. <laughs> I swear he is so pathetic sometimes. Something ain't right about it. <laughs> <laughs> I think you've got a, a plumber's uh, screw down there in the. A, a what? Uh, a plumber's screw down in the. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> well, I swear, if I'd known it was going to be such a production, I wouldn't. I wouldn't have even suggested it. I give up. Or just break the, the... I think we'll have to settle for water. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Please. Who's been putting water in my water? <laughs> <laughs> I hate to tell you this, Johnson, but it's water. Huh? Oh, the recipes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I guess we could give those. <laughs> no, we could watch you do that uh, Vegematic thing there for a year, but uh, let's go to the recipes. Right. Uh, uh, here's the old El Cheapo barbecue beans and franks. Mm -hmm. from Ruth Woodward, Richmond, Virginia. Two tablespoons of margarine, a medium onion slice, a tablespoon of flour, half a cup of tomato sauce or catsup. I use tomato sauce. Good heavens. A half a cup of canned beef bouillon, undiluted. A tablespoon of vinegar, a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce, a half a teaspoon of sugar, a half a teaspoon of chili powder, a half a teaspoon of salt, one 16 ounce can of red kidney beans and a half pound of franks cut diagonally into one inch pieces. And there you go. 
And for the kraut salad, you need a large can of kraut drained, one cup of thinly sliced celery, uh, one cup of thinly sliced green pepper, <laughs> one cup of thinly sliced onion, one cup of sugar, three quarters of a cup of corn oil, and a tablespoonful of vinegar, and you mix it all together and let it sit overnight. Anyway, I've added a, mm. ooh, that water has got, oh, it's gotten real rusty again. <laughs> when you add, uh, you add a cup of sugar to this mixture, and three quarters of a cup of corn oil, and a tablespoonful of vinegar. Now, I would advise you to use cider vinegar. Don't use one of your fancy ones on this dish. And you mix all this together, and you're going to let it set up overnight. But before you do it, you have to turn it a bunch of times to make sure that the sugar and the uh, corn oil are well distributed and you'll find that the sugar and the vinegar, what are you looking for? I'm doing a tour of the uh, oh. kitchen. The sugar and the uh, corn oil have to be in there because that will help draw out the juices out of the kraut and everything else. Well, I think uh, the lovely Miss Witch told me earlier that she had another letter that had come in requesting a recipe, so let's see. Um, it's time for a witch fly through. <laughs> and gotcha. That witch hits me every time. Get out of here. Your mama. Thank you. <laughs> Dear gentlemen, we are two of your fans. Could you invent, there you are, and name some dishes for us? You know, like peach melva or saddle of veal. <laughs> <laughs> Hazel and rosemary. Winky, winky. Hazel and rosemary. Yeah, so uh, next week we're going to have two dishes named for hazel and rosemary. Oh, okay. So I thought that would be just real nice to do. Well, we got uh, three whole minutes. For those of you that missed it a little earlier, an instant replay well, on the diagonal uh, weenie cut. Take Here that lid Here we go. One more replay on the diagonal weenie I'll cut, swear. just in case uh, <laughs> you missed that earlier. I've seen everything. Take that top off of there. Is what? that stuff cooking yet? Well, sure it is, but <laughs> it's, it's supposed to simmer. <laughs> Oh. That's all it's supposed to do. It's supposed well, they to haven't simmer. swelled up real fat. Well, like, these don't you know. swell up quite uh, as fat as, oh. as you'd like for them to. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes they. Well, they you do. reckon they're going to be ready to oh, serve? Oh, well, of course they are. You oh. can, look, you can let's see this. It's a weenie. Well, oh, yeah. do you, oh. Jeez, you <laughs> eat it raw. You ate a raw weenie. You're going to eat it no. raw. It's not going to kill you. No. Well, have you got a hot pad? It's been pad. simmering for 10 minutes. Supposed to have you got a hot pad to set that on? No. Well, here, let me get out one here. Had this lovely, attractive red, white, and blue patriotic one. Let's go over here and sit down for our meal. Because <laughs> I can hardly wait to get into this kraut salad. I know. <clears throat> I know I can hardly wait to get into it. Would you put all of this right over there? Oh, well, sure. Sure. Oh, I forgot my water. Okay. Coming. All right. <sighs> Oh, it looks so good, Laban. Mm-hmm. Here, you can have some, uh, let me have your plate. All right, here, there, signifying uh, and oh, motioning yeah. to well, us. Well, we invited some people motion. to come by. <laughs> <laughs> what in the, the world? <laughs> well, you know. Oh, the, like, so does this look exciting? Yeah. yeah look at that. Just have come you, on around Have you ever way. had any food? <laughs> 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 the entire radio station just got here. <laughs> But anyway, I want you to know that this is water. Yes. <laughs> There's a first. And uh, this, isn't this pretty? Doesn't Larry do a nice job? I've not had my lips on this. You're going to give it a try. That looks excellent. Uh, yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? And let me try mm. this uh, weenie. Well, what do you think, huh? Talk, it, talk into my chest. <laughs> what? <laughs> Tell good. these people are used to radio. But why are cool these cut point? on a diagonal? Uh, <laughs> because I rehearsed it that way. Anyway. Oh, now he admits he had weenie practice at home last night. <laughs> well, this certainly is exciting, having all these people drop in, this Bert and Jim and the Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Hi, uh, and Jamie. Mike Bell and little Jamie and the whole gang here. I tell Hi. you, this is exciting. Bert, if you don't turn around, all they're going to recognize is you're behind. <laughs> of course, they've seen ours every week. But anyway, well, isn't that pretty exciting, huh? Mm -hmm. And that's it. And it really 
it's delicious. Works. It's real food. It really is for those of you. That didn't well, believe. it's also good. It's real good. That's it's right. a wonderful time. We'll see you and that's next a wrap. week. Bye.